We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up R E T A. We are in a 12 month time frame. Price action last candle to right hand side is a bullish green candle. Current price is sitting at 93.45. So if price work is way down, it can head back down through that price action candle that was created and head down towards the second to last candle in the area, which would be near the numbers of 23.19 or to get that midpoint within that area, 25.21. If price action pushes up, it can push up to that high, which would be near the numbers of 122.72. And we also can see what price came from that high near the numbers of 203.42. So let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So as I said before, price action is a bullish green candle trying to work its way up from an area of support. When the market did start it off on the left hand side, it did start off with a bit of consolidation before that market pushed up to a high coming back down to the previous side and now that market did push up from the area of support now we're going to see if price is making it to the midpoint line or is it a reversing to come back down to come back for a second retest or we may be receiving that consolidation sideways if price pushes up further then that means market's coming from once that market did spike up to that high came back to return that created the first leg so we do have that first leg so we're going to see how far that second leg comes up if it comes up to the midpoint line we'll see that uh, break the retest and see if that market's going to create that w formation if not if right market is denied near the midpoint line or at the near midpoint line before working its way down market will be coming from a pattern so coming up in green we do have that first leg, second leg, price and second to last candle will be the near the touch of the midpoint line or the touch of the midpoint line before dropping down further and creating that double top. But so far we do have price action within that third to last candle. So we look for the market to push up to break out that area of the midpoint or come back down or we could just be in an overall consolidation at that low. Headed down to the six month time frame. So price action on the six month time frame reading as a bullish green candle. Second last candle to market, third last candle reading as doji. So the market consolidating after that market did push up for that break of the midpoint. So market did break that midpoint, came back to return. We did receive some consolidation before that market is trying to work its way up to that midpoint. Price action, if it pushes, if it is denied at the area near the midpoint, and if we take a, the market and we put a zone above that zone that we did create, then we're looking for that market to touch near that area. And if it drops down, that means price is coming from the previous left hand side of the high, which would be the structure that's identifying the pattern to the left hand side. So we have a first leg, second leg third leg and fourth leg that broke through the midpoint line so we have a double top market broke through the midpoint line this is could be the retest and if it's rejected and not and it doesn't break through the midpoint line it's coming down from a double top and a retest we're gonna wait to a three month time frame so price action three month time frame reading as a bullish green candle we're gonna see how far we still look to see how far our market makes to that zone it could be pushing up further unless we see some rejection as we walk down the time frame within that area. At the lower price, we do have a pattern that did push price up action to that uh, current near that midpoint, which identify is when that market did identify the break of the midpoint and it did come back to return. It did identify a pattern with the second, third, fourth, the fifth, the last candle of the market, which identify coming down in red. We do have that. Uh, first leg, second leg in green, third leg, uh, fourth leg, we have a double bottom and market pushed up. So as we're walking down the time frame, we're looking for the market to identify a double bottom and a retest. 
So we're looking for the retest near the midpoint of that price action candle or that second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, the last candle of the market. We're looking for that midpoint to identify when that market did break the midpoint with this area, it'll identify the break to retest for that market to push up. But so far on the three month time frame, we see price action as a huge bullish green candle. Headed down to the monthly time frame, so price action on the monthly time frame. So market is getting a bit choppy. So we have a gap in the market between uh, the price and the second last candle of the market. So we can see that market did come up from that pattern as we identified earlier uh, as a double top, double bottom. Now is identifying as some like a triple bottom. Let's take a look. So we have that first, second, third, fourth retest one came back to retest with the second last candle and the market pushed off. So we have. Uh, quadruple bottom or triple bottom in a retest market spiked up to the high so this is where we was looking for the midpoint and that will be second level lows of the retest so we did receive the break price action is a doji so it's indecisive so it can consolidate sideways come back down and that will be the full retest to see if it's going to push back up or that market can identify the retest and out uh, with the current price action as support so it will push up for the break the retest and just push up to another level and into the zone and we look for a pattern to form in that zone working our way to the weekly time frame so price action weekly time frame is reading as a huge bullish green candle spike down to the low came back to return overall structure pattern uh, spike downs to red and green to the low of that support is a double bottom so we see a first second third fourth retest one overall retest two retest and price action identifying as a third push so we don't see a retest yet within that midpoint of the second level lows so we're going to see that market's going to come back down we do know on a previous time frame we was losing momentum with a uh doji cross or a doji daily time frame price action reading as a bullish green candle still have a huge gap in the market market has that area of support uh, uh spike down to a low with the second last candle being a bullish green candle so what that market is identifying is that it did come back to retest that previous zone so that pattern did identify on the left hand side uh we did identify a double bottom a quadruple bottom and now we just see the retest we're not going to look towards the left hand side so we do have a retest that market did spike up to the high so we're going to see what's happening so we do know we do have a midpoint and it's the second level highs we are we was looking for we are looking for the retest of the second level lows i meant to say not second level high second level lows we are looking for that retest market just gapped off and pushed up spiked down to a low with the price action so it could be respected as a market came back to retest spiked up retest again with the price action so we're going to see if it's going to follow up with the bullish green can do unless we receive that consolidation so right so far as that market is being a weak candle with a spike down to a low we're going to read that consolidation to the following candle uh grows to the upside or downside or maybe consolidate with another doji style candle working our way down to the four hour time frame so price action four hour time frame is receiving as a push so we have a gap in the market between the third last candle second and third last candle so when that market did came back to retest so we know we had a w on the left hand side market came back to retest and we did receive a push the second last candle doji is reading as a retest so it spiked that area of support now it didn't spike the second level lows which would be that midpoint within that area it was a little higher but it still can respect this area of that high of the support and it's still identify the push which we do have the price action go off in the second last candle that can be working that market up further three hour time frame same as well break retest market pushed up with the price action bullish green candle two hour time frame now we see a little clearer so we can see that market spike down once spike down twice pushed up from that w retest pushed up again and just consolidated so we're looking for engulfment towards a price second third and fourth the last candle for that market to push up into that zone work its way back down to at least the midpoint and we'll see if it drops down further or just may consolidate within that area of the last four candles until the patterns form okay guys very important information please review forex pattern cheat sheet Break on retest strategy. Click on images. Okay, guys. This is Cam Jones, FX, R E T A, stock.